press this and you can see this hear this taste this and experience this Press the green button at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Hello and welcome to the show. This week we're in Luton celebrating 28 years of the Mayo Dinner Dance. Of course, down the years, the Mayo Association has raised so much money for some great causes. And I'm sure tonight will be another great event. Now, there's a beautiful meal arranged for everybody. Theresa Rogers is providing the music. And, of course, it's always a great meeting place for old friends. Now, I'm popping inside to see how it's all shaping up. Joe, what a great achievement, celebrating 28 years of, of the Mayo Association Dinner Dance tonight. Unbelievable. Um, it's a brilliant night, as you can see. Um, through COVID and what's going on in the last couple of years, it's unbelievable. We've got a great band, um, lovely meal tonight, and I hope they all enjoyed it. Lots of people were very complimentary about your meal. They were saying how good it was. Yeah, it's the same caterers that we use for so long now. In fact, I think most people that come to our dinner dance ask who the caterers is and uh, they get uh, some more out of that, out of our own dance. I often heard them say that it was lovely sighing harbour at the side of Black Bay. Now, Eamon, uh, how long have you been involved with the Mayo Association here in Luton? 
I was at the very first meeting in the blacksmiths in Park Street, so was my wife, God rest her, and quite a few more people. Unfortunately, a lot of the people that was involved in, there's not many of them left today. But um, I didn't uh, start going to the meetings for a few years afterwards, more than likely five or six years afterwards, so I've been involved with it since, and I've done chairman for 12 years. It's nice to see the crowd, the crowd that uh, we've got here tonight. It's getting harder, it's just harder to get, to get the amount of people. But when you look around tonight and see the amount of people that's there and everybody enjoying themselves, it's a very good feel, feeling. And then tomorrow we'll take a walk down to St. Mary's to sheltered spot. We'll need and pray there for the ones who are called and hope they are proud of. You've got Teresa Rogers providing the music and she's got them out there on the floor. She certainly has and she's a great band, you know, a lot of them are saying on the floor tonight, you've got the band, brilliant band tonight. And that's what we like to hear, you know, good feedback because a lot of the committee put a lot of work into a night like tonight and now we're getting the rewards. Nora, what a fantastic crowd out there tonight. It's been absolutely brilliant. We we're very pleased with the crowd we have and all great people. When the colour tonight, Mio is definitely here in strength. Oh, absolutely, 100%. I mean, the, the green and red of Mio, you, we, you, you can't miss it here tonight. It's brilliant. If you go to the hospital these days, you won't recognise it to how it was two and a half, three years ago. A very different place. There's lots of buildings being pulled down, lots of more buildings going up and everything is changing. This will make a, a magnificent hospital for the people of Luton and Dunstable and surrounding areas. A lot of the um, money that the charity raises, it pays for lots of equipment, but it also pays for the things over and above NHS provision. Thank you very much for your support. We're most grateful to you, and thank you for inviting us this evening. Carers in Bedfordshire is a charity that supports people who care for a friend, neighbour or family member who can't cope without them. We have specialist support teams that work with adults, young carers, parent carers and people caring for family with memory loss. Caring takes a toll on people and we try and promote carers' health and well-being. On behalf of Carers in Bedfordshire, I'd like to thank the Mayor association for their generous donation and it will enable us to continue to support our carers across Luton and Bedfordshire. Thank you. Noel, you're very heavily involved of course here with the Mayo Association in Luton. Yes indeed I am Martin, I'm the Vice Chairman of the Mayo Association here in Luton. It's great to see so many here at our dinner dance tonight and it's great to see all our supporters. You know we can do anything. Look at, look at the checks we presented to our charities here tonight. Yeah. £3,000 for the prostate cancer unit at Luton and Dunstable Hospital, £3,000 for our carers in Bedfordshire. I mean, that's a very dear charity. They, they help people to help the carers, you know, the loved ones, look after their own ones in their own home. Yeah. Not in hospital, in their own home. And that's, that is absolutely wonderful. And that's what we're about. That's what Mayo Association is about, is making a difference to people's lives looking after people who really are less fortunate than we are. And that's what it's all about. And we can't do any of this without our wonderful support there tonight, our wonderful sponsors, absolutely amazing. And you know, we go around knocking on doors. We have our sponsored walk every year. We go around knocking on doors. And other people collect money different ways. And the generosity of people, what they give us is fantastic. We saw you presenting uh, cheques to the local charities here in Luton and a uh, good amount of money as well yeah. and lots of fundraising. Yeah, yeah, lots of fundraising. It was my turn this year in the association to nominate a charity and I nominated Prostate Cancer. And uh, yeah, I think it's, they thoroughly deserve it. 
the, the amount of work to do there. And, you know, it's, it's uh, a cancer that if it's caught in time, uh, it's uh, quite, they can treat it. And, uh, you know, it's brilliant. <laughs> Jerry, are you enjoying the night? Well, I'm having a ball, absolutely, it's wonderful. It, it's great that, that things are more or less getting back to normal, you know. Well, absolutely, and it's fantastic to see you travel down all the way from Blackburn to support the Mio Association here in Luton. Listen, coming from Ballina, wouldn't I have to do that, you know? <laughs> Shine on the it's gonna make me Tell me a little bit about your event in Ballina. Well, next year, um, Martin, is the 300th anniversary of the formation of the town. They got their charter in 1723. Now, that's a few years before I was born. <laughs> But um, we're planning to go back in June uh, in 2023 and we'll be uh, staying in the Great National Hotel and we've taken over the hotel for the week and uh, we're looking forward to having a, uh, a great time with all our uh, friends from around the Ballina and the North Mayo area. Yeah, and of course it's always a great time over there. I know that you also go over there and you have a lovely time in Innesgrown. Well, we, we've been organising a Welcome Home Festival for... 14 or 15 years, ever since the Diamond Coast Hotel opened. And we've moved the event this year really to coincide with the uh, Ballina celebrations. So um, it's something for all of us to look forward to, you know. And our next event actually is in Gorey in, um, in Wexford. And uh, that's in November. And uh, the hotel is full now, thank God. And we're looking forward to having a good time. It's the first time down in the sunny southeast. So I hope the weather holds up. And then um, our next uh, Irish event is uh, the um, festival in April in Torremolinas. And that's an annual event uh, which we hold at the, uh, the Amaragua Hotel where we've been working for the last 23 years. And it's very, very popular with everybody. We get a lot of repeat business, a lot of repeat customers, and uh, we're looking forward to that. That's a 10-day event. And uh, in April, it'll be time for us to uh, enjoy a bit of sunshine, you know. How can people uh, find out a little bit more and how can they book their tickets? Well, they can go online uh, uh, to our website or they can contact the office in uh, Blackburn, 01254 uh, 44 50 50 and Facebook as well under uh, Jerry Flynn Events. When any town in Ireland could be home. Joe, your sponsors of course, vitally important. Absolutely, absolutely. And here again, we have brilliant sponsors. There are sponsors now that we've sponsored us for probably as long as the Mayo Association is in existence. And you can see tonight, £6,000, three to each of our charities. It's a great achievement and uh, long may it continue. We cannot let tonight pass without thinking of our, the, the tragedy in Donegal, yeah. in Creechlock. That's, that's a terrible tragedy and we offer our deepest sympathy to all the families of that terrible tragedy. And loud and clear from the Mio Association in Luton, we're with you, we're thinking of you and we'll do what we can to help. It's just heartbreaking that a, 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 a dad and his little girl goes in to buy a, a birthday cake and never comes out to the shop. It's just, it's just tragic. Yeah. But our thoughts are with them in prayers. It's great to see everybody back after COVID. COVID did a lot of damage, but here we are back, back in the swing of things and giving money to charity. It's fantastic. Care is in Bedfordshire and the prostate people at the L&D Hospital. It's brilliant. Yeah. Well, absolutely. And of course, you've got a smile on your face because you're vice treasurer and it's nice to see the money coming in. Oh, and definitely is nice to see the money coming in. And I love counting it, so, so it's good. When I come back to stay. We gave away 6,000 uh, this evening and we'll also give away another 1,500 for Christmas to help with homeless and people in need. New lovely song. What a great night here at the Mayo Association in Luton. We're going to take a little break and we'll be back with you very shortly.
press this and you can see this hear this taste this and experience this Press the green button at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809 Founded in Kilkenny, Ireland in 1702, but lost on a bet on a horse race in Deauville, France, 1918. Sullivan's was re-established a few years ago by direct descendants of two great Kilkenny brewing families, the Smithicks and the Sullivans. We're about to embark on our own journey across the United Kingdom. But this time, we won't bet the brewery. <laughs> Sullivan's. Brewing is in our blood. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com. Welcome back. We are having a great night here with the Mio Association in Luton. And I've been joined by two Manchester people that travel down for this great occasion. Pat Conway, hello, how are you doing? Hello, Matt. How are you keeping? Yeah, are you enjoying the night down here in London? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What about you, Christina? Have you had a good time? Certainly have, Martin. Yeah, really enjoyed the night. The food was great and the entertainment's been absolutely fabulous. They show me where my people live before they went away. Near lovely Sunny Harbour was the Black Maureen. Tell me about the Mayo Association when you first started with them. Well, when I started first, uh, I was one of the founder members actually, and I started in a little pub called Maud Gons, what's a block of flats now, uh, down on Park Street in Luton. I was joint tre treasurer with Frank Gallagher, a great man who is 90 years of age now, and unfortunately, you know, not well enough to come out. Yeah. But um, yeah, we had very, very great laughs. We have a very good committee now. Very lucky to have them because we're going 28 years. Yeah. And, and like some associations had to close down in Luton because there wasn't enough uh, young people to replace the older ones. But we're lucky here in Luton that we have a good committee now. Brian, you must feel happy that the Mayo Association is still uh, thriving and, and going well. And I know that you were in at the very beginning as well. I, mean, I was in there with Maureen. I used to do the raffles and to look after some of the money and mm -hmm. it went very well. Yeah. It was only a little pub we used to go to and there was how many members that time? There's oh, okay. 
house. I thought it was a lot. The, the meetings used to be big. Yeah. And sometimes you'd have as good a laugh at the meetings as you would at a dance. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. It was a great, great time, you know. So. And I'm glad now it's going so well. Yeah. And uh, there's some good members here as well. The young people took over and we just stepped back. And, and I enjoy it, you know. So. so they always say behind every man there's a better woman. So Eileen, how are you doing? I'm not too bad. I help them out as well. You do? Yeah. And do you help to keep them on the straight and narrow, Eileen? I do, oh, yeah. I do. definitely. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Raymond. Happy birthday to you. We've had a very good raffle tonight. We got some great raffle prizes. Uh, a voucher, a uh, £500 voucher, uh, two nights bed and breakfast and one evening meal in the Broadhaven Bay Hotel. And... Uh, a car and two passengers return to Ireland and that come from Jerry Flynn. So it, it is it's very good prizes along with some bottles. And it's great to see other associations here as well tonight supporting you. Yes, uh, going back some years we had five or six associations in Luton but unfortunately we're down to two now, Leitlam and, and Mayo, but we got the Mayo Association from London to, they're here tonight as well. We stayed around and played around This old town too long But poor girl, we got to travel along The Mayo Association of London was formed in 1962. It's 60 years old this year. I joined the association in 1985. I came here in 1974. And it's been one of the strongest associations in London ever since and we have an annual dinner dance and at the end of November every year and it's supported between five and six hundred people we're hoping to expand it going forward there's a lot of Irish uh, contractors from AO in London and in the southeast and they all support us and in turn we support various charities then for the money we raise on the night and other events during the year we made conscious effort a number of years ago to get young people involved in it as well. So uh, a number of years ago we gave discounted tables to the youth to bring them in and they've been coming ever since and they've in turn are bringing more young people into it and it's lovely to see. There's an awful lot of young Irish coming here now who are very well educated and all getting good jobs and can afford to live in London because to live in London is very, very expensive. I know you're from Kilmaine, I know it very well, lovely little place over there in County Mayo, beautiful town. Uh, but tell me a little bit about your dad, because I know there's a nice little story surrounding your dad. Well, he was a very progressive man and he started cutting silage in Mayo in the mid-60s. But unfortunately, that time, the fields in, around and, and the gates around where we cut silage was very small. So uh, he put two engines onto one tractor so it would be it wouldn't increase its size an awful lot but it would increase in all its power by double you know so he put a, a, an engine on the back that would drive the, the um, harvesters. Now history tells me that he was one of the first people to cut silage down around County Mayo. He was yes in South Mayo and in North Galway uh, he was the first around the place and um, that was in the mid 60s and it grew strength to strength and now everybody uh, cut silage there there's no more hay. He invented the stuff and we worked them. Now tell me, what date is your dinner dance this year and where is it? 25th of November in the Westminster Plaza Hotel, just on Westminster Bridge. We have it normally on a Friday night because our celebrations run into Saturday and Sunday on certain occasions. If people wanted tickets for that, how can they get them? So we have the Mayo website. We have two, two sister organisations. We have the Mayo Association London, we have the Mayo Golf Society in London and we have Corge Mayo. Uh, in, which is connected to the GA County, our footballers in Ireland. Marie, how long have you been involved with the Leitham Association? About 15 years. I'm the treasurer at the minute. Just got a job <laughs> when I came to the meetings with Michael. And of course, I believe you're not really from uh, Leitrim, are you? No, I'm a Wexford woman. <laughs> but we've all got to work together. Oh yes, we work with all the associations. We, we support each other. Very good associations in Luton.
you know, everybody supports everybody. Everybody from every county comes to the association. And Michael, tell me how long have you been involved with the Leitham Association? I'm involved about 45 years, 46 years involved in it. So uh, how long are you here in Luton? I'm 1960 I came to Luton, 62 years ago. Was there many Irish here in Luton when you arrived? There was quite a few Irish. I come over to my brother, my oldest brother, Joseph. Paddy Joe, he's got. So I was lucky enough to have someone to come to when I come. Yeah. I was a bit young. I have no family in Wexford now. My, all my relations are in Waterford. So that's where we go to visit when we go. So we spend time, you know, in Leitra, Mayo, Galway and Wex Waterford every year when we go. <laughs> That's our trip. Yeah. <laughs> this heart of mine is breaking. It's pounding here. Tom, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, <laughs> there's not that much to know. I'm Tom Beastair was born in a little village called Devilish near Culchima, County Mayo, a long time ago. And I came to London when I was just turned 16. And uh, I've lived between London and now in Luton since. And I've had the time of my life, to tell you the truth. I have a lot to smile about, thanks be to God. And uh, a night like tonight brings it all out. All the mayor folks here enjoying themselves. And uh, it's, it's, it's 1962, the first mayor association was formed in London. And uh, I, I don't know, was it that year or some years later, the, ta <laughs> the mayor of Fulham was astonished that 700 members turned up for a Mayo dinner. Oh. And he didn't expect 70. So it was just, it's been a success ever since. Yeah. And tonight, obviously, is a great success too. All my friends were involved in stuff like this. And we supported the Mayo footballers and we supported dancers and singers and we supported anything that was good that came out of the county and needed promoting. Uh, even boxed once from uh, from uh, from near Belmullet. So it's it's been part of our scene here for all those years, and a happy scene too. <laughs> it was too. They're my only company. It's great to see people here having such an amazing time tonight. Yes, and the band, the amazing time, and the band is so good. It's brilliant. Who knows how long till be before I see her I came to Luton in 1960, and all my friends are up above now. So sad, but I still fight on, you know, so. You're one of the oldest members, aren't you? I'm the oldest member in the club, you know. Who are you? I'm over 80 now, so. <laughs> well, many congratulations to you. You don't look 80. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> it's all the makeup. <laughs> We're very, very lucky to have so much support and the crowds, like they used to come to the dinner dances over the years. But uh, yeah, we've had great times. And I'm so delighted that it's still going after 28 years. They run down my face and So for the rest of the night now, let you enjoy yourself, have your coffee, and the bar is wide open. Enjoy yourself. See you all again next year. Thank you. Well, what a fantastic night we've had here, celebrating 28 years of the Mayo Association in Luton. And of course, down the years, they've raised so much money for some great charities. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the show at home. I'm going to leave you now with our fonder members here to say goodbye. Until next week, from me and all the crew here, yeah. take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See Bye. you next year. Press the green button and visit the island of Ireland. See Ireland.com.